screwed, sir, please. I promise it shall not be repeated. I was making rather uh, merry last night, sir. Yes, you were. Oh, I mean, uh, were you? Yes. Well, I'm not going to stand for that sort of thing any longer, Mr. Cratchit. Therefore, therefore, I'm about to raise your salary. What? Merry Christmas, Bob Cratchit. Oh, he's lost his wits. No, 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 Bob. I haven't lost my wits. I've gained them. Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas, Bob, my good feller, than I've wished you for many years. I will raise your salary. I shall endeavor to assist your struggling family. I have a doctor friend who'll come around this afternoon to start looking after your tiny Tim. Oh, Mr. Scrooge, sir, we can't afford a doctor. Oh, now the bills will come to me. We'll discuss your affairs this very afternoon over a, a Christmas bowl of smoking bishop, Bob. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. To which Bob replied, <laughs> Mr. Scrooge, uh, I don't know what to say to such a... Yes, I do. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> Scrooge was better than his word. He did it all and infinitely more. Tiny Tim. Oh, excuse me for just a moment. Bum leg. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, Scrooge became like a second father to me. He became as good a master. No. As good a man. <laughs> no. As good a friend as anyone in this good old city ever knew in this good old world. Some people laughed at Scrooge to see the alteration in him. Scrooge will let him laugh. A little heated them. His own heart laughed, and that was quite enough for him. He had no further visitation with the spirits ever again. It was always said of him he knew how to keep Christmas well. Any of us possess that knowledge. May that be truly said of us, and all of us. And so as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone!